and WrestleMania 3 ends with real American blasting, a Hulk Hogan pose down, and Andre the Giant and Bobby Heenan stunned in their failure. One of the most important matches not only in WrestleMania history, but WWE history itself. Up next, we jump ahead to WrestleMania 5 in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Those with tickets didn't know it as they entered the venue that evening, but they were about to witness one of WrestleMania's biggest upsets take place right in front of their eyes. The Ultimate Warrior captured the WWE Intercontinental Championship at the inaugural SummerSlam in 1988 by blitzing the Honky Tonk Man, ending his record reign in a little over 30 seconds. Since then, he seemed unstoppable, a lock to become WWE Champion one day. Two people who were not impressed were ravishing Rick Rude and his manager, Bobby the Brain Heenan. The 1987 Slammy Award winner for Best Body felt that Warrior was nothing special, both in-ring and even in terms of physique. This led to Rude challenging Warrior to a super pose down at the 1989 Royal Rumble, where the winner would be decided by the WWE Universe's approval. Pretty quickly, it was clear that the Ultimate Warrior was gonna be crowned the people's choice, and Rude was livid. It launched a vicious attack, bringing the competition to an abrupt end. That would lead to the signing of the contract for the two to compete in the Intercontinental Championship match at WrestleMania 5, and the world felt that Warrior would destroy his brash challenger. But Heenan and Rude were more than prepared for the champion. Heenan was desperate to have WWE gold in his vaunted Heenan family ranks, and he knew that the ravishing one was the right man for the job. They told anyone who'd listened that Rude was gonna beat the Ultimate Warrior at WrestleMania, and now the time had come. Had they backed Warrior into a corner, or were they about to realize they'd bitten off far more than they could chew? That's a question only you can answer. Warrior wasted an ultimate warrior had steamrolled his challenger in the opening moments. Just enough time to get his knees up and block the attack. Big time ring awareness shown by the Ravishing One to keep himself in the match. Rude needed to take advantage here because his opportunities for offense were few and far between.
I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame Though it might be nice to own a jet plane I'ma do it all for you, come along and see us